Hi, the question today is about conservation of linear momentum and part A of the question reads distinguish between elastic and inelastic collision. So the answer to part A is for elastic collision both kinetic energy and momentum are conserved whereas for inelastic collision momentum only is conserved. Then for part B a ball X of mass 0 0.1 kilograms moving with a velocity of 6 meters per second collides directly with a ball Y of mass 0 0.2 kilograms at rest. X bounces back with a velocity of 2 meters per second in the opposite direction after collision. Then Roman 1 for part B determine the velocity of Y after collision. So let's consider the following. We have ball X and ball Y. Before collision, X moves towards Y at a velocity of 6 meters per second. So UX here means the initial velocity, that is the velocity of X before impact. And then the velocity of Y before impact or collision is 0 meters per second because we are told it was at rest. And then after collision, we have ball X moving in opposite direction. We are told it bounces back and it's moving at 2 meters per second. So this is the velocity after impact, impact or collision, and that is V sub X. And then the question requires us to get the velocity of Y after impact. So we are going to use the principle of conservation of linear momentum and from there we're going to say the total momentum before collision is equal to the total momentum after collision so that we have the equation the mass of x times its velocity before collision plus mass of y times its velocity before collision being equal to the mass of x times its velocity after collision plus mass of y times its velocity after collision. So substituting in this equation, we'll have for the first part, mass of x times its velocity. So we are told the mass is 0 0.1 and its velocity is 6 meters per second plus mass of y, which is 0 0.2 times its velocity 0. We are told is at rest. And we'll have to equate that to mass of x times its velocity after collision. Velocity after collision is 2 meters per second. And because it's in the opposite direction, we're told it bounces back, then we have it as negative. So we have negative 2 meters per second plus, plus mass of y times its velocity. So velocity of y is what we're looking for in this part. So for the left hand side, we have 0 0.1 times 6, which is 0 0.6. But remember, 0 0.2 times 0 is 0. That's why we only have 0 0.6 on the left hand side. And then on the right hand side, we have 0 0.1 times negative 2. That should give us negative 0 0.2. And then we have to add that to 0 0.2 Vy. So the task here is to get Vy. So negative 0 0.2 will cross and then we divide both sides by 0 0.2 so that we have Vy equal to 0 0.8 over 0 0.2. Now when you work out this, we get Vy as 4 meters per second. So that is the velocity of Y after collision. Okay, for Roman 2, part B, we are to calculate the kinetic energy of Y after collision. Let's recall what we had earlier on. Remember, after collision, we had the velocity of ball X being 2 meters per second and the velocity of ball Y being 4 meters per second. Remember, as we had considered earlier on, the direction towards the right we are considering to be positive and the one to the left we had considered negative. So, this case here we have vy being positive so that when we are using the value of vy we'll have the positive value 
Now the kinetic energy of y after collision is given us. So kinetic energy of y is equal to a half times mass times velocity squared. So that is mass of y times velocity of y. So doing our substitutions, we'll have a half times mass of y, which is 0 0.2 kilograms times velocity of y which we had gotten to be 4 meters per second and of course it's positive so 4 squared and when this is worked out we get 1.6 joules as the kinetic energy of y after collision and that is how we go about this question thank you so much for watching i hope to see you in the next video bye